what it is, yo. My son. You're off in God's country with Reed. <laughs> and Dan is one. Also known as the Brothers Hunt, where we take a weekly drive to the intersection of country music and the outdoors. Two things that go together like this podcast and a spooky ghost story. Or a pine tree stand and some last name land. Produced by Meat Eater and iHeart Podcast. We're going to sit down with uh, a kid today. I can call him a kid because he's a young and... Um, yeah, he's a grown man. I mean, he's though. a grown man. He's married. He's an old yeah. soul grown man. He just, he's young in the game, and he's killing it. He's awesome, and his melodies soar, and people love it. And he don't care what you think about it. He don't GAF, bro. Uh, it feels like Dylan's on the, this Dylan Marlowe we're talking about, he's he's on the fast track to becoming a star in country music, kind of the next generation. I think you kind of dubbed him Artist to Watch of the... Dude, that's the first God's, the country, God's podcast. country Podcast. <laughs> Artist to Watch in 24. You just we'll have made some that more. Up. I liked it, though. It was good. Yeah, man. He, I, I, I think he he is. I, I think what he does and how he conducts himself and and how he, he just goes about his business. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's he's trying to accomplish and ain't nobody going to get in his way till he's he gets there. He's got a new song coming out this Friday. Yeah, check that out. Dylan Marlowe. Um, thanks to him for coming on the podcast. And uh, Y'all stay with us. We'll see you around. <laughs> guy here is not scared to let his feelings show in a redneck kind of way that's and, fair in a no pun intended boys back home kind of way <laughs> dude absolutely and i think that's extremely rare in the game that we have to play in this town you're starting off the sh- this is the first thing we're going to talk about I, I, you pushed me into it i said i was going to save it until oh no, you just started talking i said let's roll and then you but you the, jump off into the into the, one of the deepest topics that we're probably going to get into i don't today. think so because i don't want to harp on it i just like get, i would just like to acknowledge early. we got a real one today. bro we let's got go. look, we that's got a real one look at i mean this guy shows up to a professional <laughs> podcast that's being filmed in sweatpants and uh, a in a he sweatshirt looks good. Hey, listen, i wish i could wear that to my own podcast thanks I for mean, showing I, up looking good today i could have dressed up probably for y'all a little better <laughs> I just figured, hey, you know. <laughs> hey, you know. Georgia. We got a pup on the couch today, dude. We got a, <laughs> yeah, we got a, like a, a young and Look can at you that baby. Look at can you even have face. coffee? Right. I'll tell you the first time, and I can't wait to tell the story because I don't even know if you know it or remember it. Oh, but gosh. the first time, my my first impression of Dylan, we're, it's, just, it's a co-write. And it's just like one of those days where we're writing over at River House with uh, Matt and Chris. And Dylan's on the books. Mm. And Dylan's in there. And I was like, who's this Dylan Marlowe? And they tell me, you know, you always got to ask, you know, who's this random yeah. third one in there yeah. that we don't probably don't need? Like, but yeah, hey, I this you know. <laughs> So I show up and uh, I probably was probably 10, 15 minutes late. And we we hash, you know, what's up, what's up? And then we get into writing. And dude, 1245 rolls around. We're like half of the first verse in. And Dylan's sitting over there and he goes, hey, man, would y'all like uh, talk mad shit about me if uh, I had to leave right now? And I was like, one, I yes. I don't remember this way. You don't or two? <laughs> no, I don't. And then and I was like, one, absolutely I will. Two, what do you mean you got to leave? It's 1245. We ain't even have – he's like, I got rehearsal at one. And I was like, and you booked this co rock <laughs> And he was like, yeah, man, I, didn't, I you know, I just didn't. And I was like, all right, bro, get on out of here. And he left. And for the next couple – co rides I'll probably talk some. Yeah, probably. Probably talk some smack about you. You should. But then yeah. we wrote some songs, and you got a record deal, and I was cool with you. After Dude, that. my uh, my planning is terrible. My wife will tell you, it, it's terrible. And I try to fit too many things in. Like I'm, I tell everybody yes, and then I'm like, Dad, it. I told like ten people <laughs> yes today, and this is not gonna be good. <laughs> well, I feel that because like I I I'll do it to things way down the road. Yeah. And then I won't think about it. And then I'll have 80 things way down. And when way down the road gets here, I'm like, yeah. That's why you got to turn your wife into your manager, too. And so she knows literally everything. That's my wife. You know that, right? Yeah. I think I do this every time. You got married since last time I've seen you. Yeah. Yeah. Big 2023 for for you. Yeah, I know. It was a hell of a year. We made it through. I don't know how. (laughs) Married? Is is, Did last night go in 2023 or was it 2022? Um, I think it was 22. Maybe. Okay. So Did good, you good ever think years. about cutting that song? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I told I told Joe and Jimmy, I was like, do not pitch this. This is my song. Like, don't freaking give this to anybody. Yeah. And then I think somehow Bart heard it, um, and they were like, man, 
it has like a 90% chance of being a single if you let John cut this. I can't believe I was like, that. You were like, I nah. can't believe you heard that and that happened. Because most of the time they'll just tell you that and yeah. then you'll get an album cut. thousand percent. Yeah. I just, yeah, I don't know. I, if it, if I would have, honestly, honest to God, if I wrote it 100 percent, I would have been like, no. No. Yeah. But because Joe and Jimmy were in there, I was like, uh, you know, it's their song too. So. Yeah, yeah. Let th- were they like, hey, we're we're giving it John? They were definitely like <laughs> uh, two out of three. Yeah. Well, Joe, have y'all met Joe? Like, I don't know Joe. Joe's dude. so blunt. Oh, dude, Joe's great. He's yeah. awesome, but he's so blunt. He's like, you don't have a record deal yet. You're not gonna take this on the radio. Oof. I was like, Oof. all right, bet. <laughs> and it was your first number one. So no, not, it, not a terrible call. No, not dude, I'm, 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 the great. It's a great call. I'm happy about? with the way it turned out. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about. We'll get into that later. Maybe. Oh, later. we're not getting into it. Right of course, no, bro. We, already, we have a sketch. We have a thing. I we, we were do already here. into. It. And this is this is why you are <laughs> yeah, terrible. Sometimes at this. the. Sometimes. You're also talking over me, which is a thing you do, and I've heard complaints about other people saying that the the bigger brother Sheesh. is the one that talks over the younger brother. <laughs> if the younger brother would just talk more, it'd be a better podcast. If the like younger you brother would have more important things to say, maybe the older brother wouldn't have to talk over <laughs> Hey, uh, I love I'm just in the middle of this. I'm, <laughs> Literally. I'm, this, this is not a humble brag. I'm, I'm not even going to say it. You know what? Do you have a say you, it? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a week sober on social media. Let's go. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to try to like... Yeah, yeah. For like, my church is doing it because of lint thing, digital detox. But I'm done. I'm never. I'm never putting it back on my phone. But anyway, we don't have. That's not what I'm talking about. Before I was, I got off of social media. You kept on posting about a chicken. Yeah, lemon Let, pepper, dude. Let's get let's get into it because Dan's had chickens. Yeah, he's done the whole thing. He knows the pros and cons of all of them. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited about the banter that's about to happen between. <laughs> Let me call time out. I'm sorry. I'm texting in the middle of this podcast, but my. Babysitter is about to put diesel into my four wheeler, so I'm just gonna wrap You're that good, up bro. real quick. That's important. Go ahead. Don't need diesel in the four tracks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel it. that. All right, Dude. I feel that. So continue the bro. conversation. I'm listening. I'm actually worried you're not taking it make... fast enough. She was yeah. like, "Yeah, well, I just, I, yeah, it's almost. <laughs> Don't let that happen." But it's showing the rhythm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, go. Yeah, Dude. get us about. No, I mean, so we got these when me and Nat were engaged. I was like, I want chickens. She said, well, we can get them when we get married. So we got back from our honeymoon two days later and went to Tractor Supply. Where'd you go on your honeymoon? Uh, come, come on, dude. Don't, don't forget this right <laughs> now. It's been like six months or something? Yeah. Uh, but, oh, Curacao. Curacao. <laughs> what? Where where'd, is wait, where'd Curacao? Wait, where'd you kill your first turkey last year? Oh, gosh, Nashville. See how fast that happened? <laughs> that's the difference. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, that's a difference. That's a good call. But anyways, we can we can like cut that up to make it sound like it was like that, right? <laughs> no, we can't. We're leaving <laughs> it in there. Um, no. Uh, so we got these chickens, and um, just like anybody, you just you raise them up inside, like in the tub or whatever. And once they're big enough, yeah. you kick them outside. The incubator. Did you have yeah, the heat? Yeah. The heat just on a heat them. Lamp, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I guess I must have picked this certain one up more than the others, but. Uh, her name's Lemon Pepper, and you can tell them apart. You named, we got, you named him, dude. We got, you named him. Dude, we her, got her, five her. turkey, five t- God, turkeys. My <laughs> brain's on it already. Five chickens. <laughs> We're about to get there, bro. Just, dude, I know. just wait. I mentioned, yeah. dude. <laughs> five chickens, and they're all different. Like you know, like you got teriyaki is the biggest. She's biggest. She's biggest, and she's full black. So you know that's teriyaki. And then buffalo has like a bright red chest. You've named them all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lemon Pepper's just like dotted. The runt, the smallest one is Chicken Mini. And oh, then yeah, the, the other black ones just garlic. How many chicken minis could you eat right now? Oh, probably twenty. That's solid. Twenty, 20 probably, chicken minis. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could, that's solid. That's I a could, solid number. Could, could you eat some. more chicken nuggets or chicken oh, minis? Yeah. Chicken oh minis yeah, got you ain't way got more the bread. bread. Yeah. How many chicken nuggets could you eat right now, dude? Maybe like thirty-two. Dude. 33. Okay, so I literally have tried to eat as many chicken nuggets as I ever. Because you remember when McDonald's had that 50 for like yeah, yeah, yeah. six, like or like $2 totally or healthy, something? Bro, yeah. yeah, I ate 33, and that's the most. I really? threw up my guts, but that's the most I could, yeah. I could do it. My eyes are probably bigger than my stomach right now, but I could I could <laughs> eat a, a lot. Have you had uh, have like have you had like the naming of a chicken, and then that chicken gets goes to heaven? You know what I'm saying? Dude, not yet, bro. They uh, my house is kind of perfect for chickens because we have a main road out front, and then we have like five or six acres in the back. But there's a creek with like a forty foot drop off. Oh yeah, so they're not going anywhere. So they're not going anywhere, and also no like coons or possums are really getting in my yard. Yeah. Or or like predators for them because oh that's, that's good. Solid. We have that's two dogs. That yeah. was my problem. Yeah, we have two dogs, and it's there's this just like valley that surrounds my property, kind of, and um, so yeah, we don't worry about anything. We have two dogs. Our neighbor has a hound dog. So nothing really 
messes with them. But dude, lemon pepper will like come up when I pull up in the driveway. I'll <laughs> open the truck and get out. She'll come running across the yard like a dog, truck, and I'll pick her up. And we'll sometimes I'll take a selfie with her and put her down, and she goes on and does her thing. <laughs> She's awesome, dude. She's like a little dog. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. Do you have the, uh, I mean, I went hardcore for a while and had like the the door that opens at when the, it's, it was like a. No, I still do that. Do you, I need do to you get want one. it? I need to you get it. You can one. have mine because I don't have chickens anymore and it's pretty expensive, but you can have Are you never going to oh. do, are you never going to get chickens again? Are you like. <sighs> Man, here's the thing. Family and just don't have time or what? Everything wants to eat a chicken in the yeah. world. So if you live in like. <laughs> Not that you don't live in real woods, but like no, I I mean I live kind of <clears throat> towards the. It's out in Pleasant View. It's out in the country. It's just that we're up on the road. Yeah. So. See, I'm way tucked back. Yeah. In this, I mean, basically the woods, and man, my chickens were just. I mean, it was like, and the trouble is, it was like an ongoing battle, but yeah. it always happened when I wasn't out of town. Yeah. It was almost like the bobcats and the hawks and the coyotes and the foxes. And the neighbor's dogs and the cats and the feral cats and everything else <laughs> would be like, oh, that Tacoma's out. It's We're atta- going attack. in. Attack. Yeah. Tacoma ain't here. Yeah. Dude, go it down. was one time the the worst. Oh, man. This was brutal. We had just gotten like, have, did y'all like raise them little and then go mm-hmm. to the pen? And, yeah. So, you know, you had to like keep them in the garage and the whole yeah, thing yeah. in the garage stinks for like weeks yeah. or months. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so, Crisis averted, by the way. The four no days cranked. Good, good, good deal. I got the stories and laying on top of stories. But anyway, we this go, is what I'm talking about. You talking? I go to North much. Carolina. We had just put ten chicken little uh, poles mm-hmm. into our yeah chicks. Chicks. Yes. Yeah, poles or turkeys? We'll get a turkey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In the in the thing, uh, we had them pinned. I mean, we had a literal pin around it and everything. And uh, I went to on a riding retreat and. We had gotten like a couple good songs that day. I was mm-hmm. feeling solid, you know. Cheyenne calls. I'm like, ah, we're eating barbecue. I'll call you back soon. You know, I click it. She calls again. I was like, oh, shit, dude, I got to take this. Song's wrong. Step outside. I was like, hello. She's like, <laughs> they're all dead. I was like, what? And she was like, they're all dead. Oh, there's feathers everywhere. I was like, what is happening? Like, she was like, I just came home. They're all- I mean, this was our first batch of like oh, massacre, dude. bro. A oh, massacre. it was a chicken. Yeah, massacre, and that would do dude. the same. Dude. It was. So I'm trying to like, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm in yeah. North Carolina, like 11 hours away, you know. I was like, oh, babe, we'll get some more. This is kind of just part of it. Like, having- yeah. so I'm glad that you have a place where you're not. Going yeah, it's, through like, that yet. it's the perfect little chicken. Pl- like, they'll, they'll go to the woods to the left, to the woods to the right. Like oh, they just got scavenger How long all them. It's like they're not. It's not real woods. It's oh, just okay, like okay. little tree woods. lines. Yeah, that's okay. But um, as long as <laughs> hawks don't find them, you're dude, cool. They haven't yet. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe it's just because of my dog that Banks. Helps. My dog Banks runs outside and barks because our our neighbor has a duck in his pond. And How long Banks, has that duck been alive? I don't know. A while. Oh, you're good then. A long time. Yeah, you're good. And uh. It's not. It's like a one of them, like you know, park ducks that flew in from somewhere and lives here. She's like, oh, I'm about to chill here for a minute. Yeah, yeah and it yeah. lives in this little pond. And my dog awesome. Banks goes outside and points at it, and she barks at it Perfect. all day. That's, that's and great. And then she comes inside. Yeah, that's a uh, that's like free security. Well, not free. You feed. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Chickens are. It's a whole. It's just. It, it, I mean, for me, it was just a evolving, th- a revolving thing. It's yeah. Like it just. You finally learn how to do it, and then one gets picked off, and you get on, you get two or three more, and then you got to raise them. And I just got honestly, I just got tired. That's of a it. lot. It's a lot, dude. If I had to do that, I wouldn't have them. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. let's get into turkey hunting since y'all are we're, yeah. we're dying to talk about it. Uh, 2021, mm-hmm. you were going, you were on tour, and you did a single season slam. Yeah. Let's get into yeah, it. I'm gonna go it from out. the first one where it was, and then your <laughs> your track to to the to the last one. Um, I started in Florida. I uh, did the Osceola. I was in Immokalee, and I was I I had it in my head I was gonna go hunt this place called Big Cypress, which is like this insane WMA that's like hard as hell to hunt. Like mm-hmm. you have to be like I think the the week open and weekend I went there was like probably. 3,000 hunters out there. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's like... It's is, it, like is it a giant WMA? Uh, it's like 100-something thousand acres. Yeah. And there was like 20 turkeys killed. 
And their season opens the first of March. Yeah, it's early. Like the first it's like the first weekend. first one. And uh, so twenty I, turkeys killed. Yeah, twenty or out 30. of three thousand hunters. Like, I was could, it hard my, or is it just my that? numbers could be off a little bit? Yeah. But it was something of of that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is it is it tough hunting or yeah. is there just not birds there? Like why? Not? Like walking, it's all swamp. So okay. you feel like you're. I'm walking in like, you know, this deep of water. There could be a gator, a freaking. <sighs> I mean, you're south, south, south. Too. Yeah, yeah. So like could be pythons, Snake, that'll it could kill be, you. yeah. And I'm just like by myself, twenty miles back in this thing. Like it was tough. So I hunted that for like four or five days. I saw one hen, and then um, any, any gobbles? Did you hear any gobbles? No, no. Mm -mm. And uh, so what's your plan? Like you have a show on Saturday, Friday. Well, Saturday? this one actually was before I was on tour. I think okay. right when I did this, um, it was. I think it was the year like we had tours lined up right after turkey season. And I was like, I know if I'm going to get to do this Grand Slam probably in the next five years, this year's the year to do it. And so we did that. And um, I called Dallas. And I was like, you know anybody in Immokalee? Like, I'm trying to – like, I really need to kill this. What are you? What is the Immokalee? What are you Immokalee's talking about? like a city down there. It's like right under Fort Myers. It's like a city named Immokalee? Immokalee, yeah. Immokalee. Yeah. And uh, so da I called Dallas, and Dallas calls me. He's like, let me make a phone call. And he calls me back about it's five minutes. It's nice to know those guys, in it? Five minutes later, he goes, happy birthday. And I was like, what? And he's like, be at this address at 6 a.m. He said, call Come Michael on. Waddell and got you on something. I said, all right. So I Appreciate up, you. 6 a.m. This dude takes me to his like private, like his ranch, I guess. And there was so many turkeys. Really? <laughs> and we called one in and shot one. And um, if I had planned better, I might could have – or if I'd have done some more like mobile scouting, maybe I could have killed one at that. But I watched yeah. a uh, the Hunt Public. They posted a video yeah. going down there, and it took them like eight days to kill one. Yeah. In that same WMA yeah. that you were hunting, which yeah. made me feel good about myself. Sure. And then um, after that, I went up to Georgia and shot one. Um, this was actually crazy. I I got out of the truck. I'd been hunting for like three days in Georgia. I got out of the truck and I was walking in the woods at like. You know, you can go in at like 2 p.m. and get just a random. If you get Absolutely. one to gobble at 2. It's no dead. doubt. Absolutely. That 10 to 2 window, yeah. And I walked in, and I heard a guy. Like, I was just walking, like, brushing by these leaves, like a field edge. So you got field and, like, thick woods. Yeah. And I um, brushed this thing beside me. A turkey gobbled 20 yards in the woods. At you, brushing something. At me. Yeah. Ran out into the field. I laid down on my back and shot it. <laughs> and I was like. Wait, on your back? So yeah. you were like. Well, like, I, I just laid down flat on my back because I, oh, I heard yeah. something rustling out, and I just kind of, like, fell down. So that was my Georgia bird. was super lucky. <laughs> I ended up killing one that in Tennessee. That was quick. That was, I ended was up killing quick. one in Tennessee, too, because I was like, I think I need to, like, put a little more work in sure. for one. So <laughs> I ended up killing one in Nashville, too. So you got your Osceola in Florida. Yeah, got your got Eastern. Eastern. Mm -hmm. And then I went to uh, Wyoming and shot my Merriam. That, that was the picture with the bus, right? No, that was the next year. That okay, was okay. that was kind of sick though. Finish the finish yeah, this yeah, yeah. finish the slam, then we'll go to and, the thing. Uh, so I shot that one. Um, that was pretty easier. Just it was kind of just like get in front of them out west, and uh, then I shot my Rio, which was the hardest one, and I shot that in Kansas. We went. I flew to Kansas, hunted for three days. On like me and some buddies went to public, and it was late seasons, and they were just like quiet my yeah, buddy yeah. shot one and, and i couldn't get on one and um it's weird too like when you don't have your own truck like when you're with three other dudes and, and i didn't know them that well but i just knew they were going and so i couldn't really like do my do what i wanted to do because sure. i was just kind of with them yeah, um, you gotta appease the crowd yeah. Yeah, yeah so then i flew back to nashville and then i i was like last it was the last week there and i was like I, i'm not like i gotta kill this so me and Joe Fox drove out. So you there. Did, you didn't kill in Kansas when you no. went. So you mm -hmm. so you've got all three yeah. except this one. Last week of turkey season. Yeah, the Rio. So I all come right. back to Nashville and then I drove back to Kansas the next week, which was the last week of the season, and uh, hunted for like three or four days on a bunch of public. And that every time you just drove by one on the road, they ran because they were so skittish yeah. by this point. Right. And uh, I actually posted on Instagram because I was like. If I got some fo a following on there, I'll hit some people dude, up. Yeah. No and shame. So, um, done Kenton Bryant actually reckon he knew a dude in West Kansas, and I called the dude, and he it was two and a half hours away from where I was. Gosh. 
And he was like, dude, uh, I'm tagged out. He runs like a little guide thing, like not like a guide service, but he guides his buddies and they pay him. Like he was like, dude, just come out here on my farm and, and hunt. He said, I have this massive turkey that I've been trying to kill for three years. That no, I haven't been able to kill. He's like five or six. He's going to die this year in the offseason. There's no way he makes it. Like, so come kill him. I can't. I'm out of tags. I was like, heck yeah. So me and Joe drive two and a half hours there. And uh, we sit like – I wish I wish I had like a picture to show you all because this is like insane. But if you can imagine like a dirt road coming like this and then veering to the right. And on the right side of the dirt road is this little cow pasture. Like okay. cow like – muddy sure. dirt pit with a little cow barn yeah the other side of the road is woods okay this dirt road and the guy told me and in kansas they come out of nowhere because they walk those plains like they'll walk in the plains during the day like miles and miles and miles and so like i they was like see everything yeah, make sure, like, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, way yeah. there's Tough. a turkey right here there's mm-hmm. one patch of woods like we would have seen them coming in but we start sitting down and start seeing just turkeys pile in pile in pile in and what time of the day is it uh, we sat down at two. So this is like afternoon. Yeah. They're coming to roost. Yeah. Like we sat down at like one or two and just waited all day. And then at like three or four, we start hearing them gobbling this little cow pit. And I'm like, no crap. So they start gobbling. And, How many days uh, is left in the season of this? This is the last day. The last day. No, sorry. This is Saturday. Sunday's the last day. So you, man, so, feeling it a little bit. The pressure. Yeah. The pressure's on. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I've hunted so hard for this freaking Rio. I I was like I think that Georgia bird was so easy that it it's like <laughs> yeah paying you back yeah and so I start calling and the where where I'm at like if you can imagine like this point there's woods like this the turkeys can cross the road and come this road or go this little road on the private property not like a dirt road but just like a path or this path yeah and so we're calling on this path and they cross the road and I guess they went this way. Because we were like, man, we we've been here and we know they should have crossed the road by now. And so at this point, them. are they in the woods? Or are they still in there? They're uh, they've crossed the road and they're okay. in the woods gotcha. where we are. Yes. But I got like I wish I could like show y'all. I can see it in my, my head. head. I got, yeah. I got so it. like if, if you can imagine where my road starts when they cross the road for me, there's this like triangle, mm-hmm. and it's a triangle like this, and it stops like this. Mm-hmm. And behind that triangle is the river way back there, 500 yards. That's where they're going. Yeah, through. they so They're going to get river. through my triangle. They're going to walk through this big open field, like that's huge back to the 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 woods. And I was like, Joe, I'm going to just, I'm on this end. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk around this way and just see if they're walking that way. And I said, uh, so I picked the decoy up out the ground and I got it and I got my gun and I'm walking around this way. And I just see like a giant red head, like a hundred yards in front of me. And I, and thankfully, like if it was early season, none of this brush would have been there. Yeah. But it's all grown up. It's yeah. green dough. And I, I, I saw it and I was like, crap. And I just kind of dropped down in the ground. And I, I had the decoy. I had this decoy with me. And um, I just, it was, it wasn't like a, a strutter decoy or anything. It was a, um, it was like a half strut, little Jake decoy. Yeah. Or like a half, um, not, uh, like the half shell decoys. Where his tail's down. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And so I, it's like this big, and I'm just like hiding behind it. <laughs> and this turkey, this dude's been hunting. Thank God you're small, man. That, would for, be, that wouldn't work for me. For <laughs> four or five years, comes hauling ass at me, just running like he's about to. He's pissed. Yeah, he dude. gets like five foot away from me, and I smoke him. Really? He's got like three beards on him. His spurs are insanely big. Dang, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm still waiting to get him back mounted because I have like the three – things and then he'll go on like a pedestal in the middle that's nice. awesome but it was a grind for sure wasn't he the last the last bird was a pain in the butt yeah but that makes the whole thing it was worth it. yeah worth it yeah. makes that whole and then joe ended up killing one off that property the next day so. dude a single season slam man that's you can't do that with kids you like you can't do that with young kids no. you, like you were in the perfect scenario yeah, we're not like, married yeah like like yeah that's that's, that's the go, that's the, the 20s time i mean you were how old are you I'm 26 now. I was probably 23. I mean, that's the time that we yeah. were doing the same thing. Yeah, I, no, that's right. I, yeah. I knew that too. I I even told right. you I was like, this is probably my last year for a while. If if my career gets busy like I want it to, that I'll be able to do this. I mean, when we were tw- when we were early 20s, we were doing the same thing. We were we we flew to South Dakota. Um, we drove to South Dakota a lot. We went to uh, we hunted. Where's Black Kettle? Was that Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, got skunked there. It was awful. Um, that was a tough trip, man. We some, were, but I will say this: some really lifelong funny stories. Oh yeah, came out of a trip where we didn't kill. We didn't, well, 
They actually killed some turkeys. <laughs> it, it wasn't. It wasn't. They didn't get mounted. I'll put it that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like frustration killing. Almost. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I feel um, that. Yeah. So there, there is a picture of you holding a turkey in front of your yeah tour bus. Yeah. So that was that was the that was our first tour. Wait, that white Scott. little bus yeah, thing was your tour bus? bus? I want to yeah. talk about. It. I want to oh, talk about I that. Bus it was too. just happened to no, be dude. at the place. No, it was our short bus. So nice. this was the this is when I learned that I can hunt on the road and it's sick and I. On the way out <laughs> out there, so we had a weekend where we did Great Falls, like Utah and somewhere. Okay. And the next weekend was in California. And so all the guys in the band were like, it makes total sense. Let's go to here. We'll be halfway, and then we'll only have a 10-hour drive. Yada, yada. And I was like, well, unfortunately, we're driving seven hours back to Wyoming <laughs> because <laughs> where... I'm turkey hunting. Yeah, where we I forgot went, to tell you guys this, but... Yeah, I was like, cancel all your plans that you <laughs> yeah. made. Sorry, band guys, but... Artist trump card yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never put it down either. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. never. Yeah. And I went. No, it's a perfect scenario yeah. to put it down. Yeah. And so... It's only uh, the month of April. I mean, they yeah. can, you know... In November. Well, it was and actually November. March or April. It was the first week that it was open, but <laughs> only in that zone. I can't remember if it was zone three, and I can't remember what city. Maybe it was Gillette or... Uh, it was somewhere right there, right next to the mountain range in the middle of, of Wyoming. But only that, that little season open first and so i called this lady and she said that she had like five on wait onyx. wait what do you mean you called this lady like onyx called this lady yeah like i looked her number up and i i he's a real one that's my dog he's a real one i, told he was a real I got one. that white page subscription <laughs> yeah, i feel that matt goes why do you need to pay for white's pages every year i said hunting season yeah it comes in handy hey so, if you go to uh tap me i'm, I'm a great resource for this out okay. west stuff because I, I went through it last year. But Boise, if you ever play Boise, uh -huh. I got you. Dog. You got me? I got All you. All right, let's go. <laughs> well, so I hit this lady up. I call her. They were super cool people, and I told her we were coming through on tour, which I kind of play the music card there. Oh, absolutely. I'm like, hey, we're on tour. No, no, no. You so have like, the benefit of the credit. Yeah. They're like, oh, tour. Tell me more. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll come by. and uh, Yeah, tickets, whatever. These let's people were yeah. so awesome. We get to their house at like 4 a.m., Drove drove straight in from. Like, they see. They look out. See this bus pulling up. <laughs> so I pulled six down. Six dudes in I, it. Actually, yeah. So I pulled. I didn't tell my band though, like where we were. I just told them we were going to Wyoming, and they had no idea what was going on. So they <laughs> woke up in the bus on a dirt road in Wyoming. <laughs> just got you're feet, already hunting. Feet. You're already gone. They bro. just got to yeah, figure out what to do for the day. Yeah, just... me and Screech are there, uh, and we we get Wait, there. Who's for, Screech? He's my tour manager. That's great man. <laughs> so. Uh, Screech is my like we're best. I'll get into that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's my he's section. my buddy that we hunt together on the road and uh, also tour manager. But we walk into these people's like driveway like four a.m. They're already up because they're cattle cattle farmers and they bring me. They're like you you and your buddy come in our house. So we go in their house like four thirty. Drink coffee with these people we never met. Sick. They're awesome. Oh yeah. Um, Beautiful. And uh, she's like, yeah, the turkeys are usually out here. By the way, the we said we had 500, but actually we only have 10 because our daughter owns the other 300 or 490, and she said you can't go on it. <laughs> so you, you got 10 acres to hunt. Seven hours to hunt 10 <laughs> So acres. we're like, I thought I had it. Dude, I mean, on the map, dude, it's got oxbows, it's creek, every, yeah, uh, yeah. field left and right, yeah, mountain up here. But on What their, a bomb to on drop their, on you at 4 a.m. over a cup oh, of coffee the in their house. Me and Screech look at each other, and we're like, this is going to be fun. But it always those things always come with something. You yeah. have to just assume that it's no going doubt. to happen. Yeah. yeah, that it's not as good. It's not as... It's never. It's yeah. not as good as it's you think it is. It never yeah. goes how you yeah. think it's going But luckily, so we hunted the whole first day. We heard, like, one gobble. We thought, like, it, they had this gate and the neighbor property over, and we were going to just have to call them from the neighbor's property. And um, so... The first day was super windy. Like, we didn't see anything. We hunted all, all day. Your dudes are just on the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I ended up, I was like, you know, I should probably get them a hotel. So, we drive into the nearest town, like, 15 minutes. I get them a hotel room, and... Um, <laughs> they got some TV to watch or something. Yeah, and I put them in there, and they're like, what are we supposed to do? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, I was like... Go exploring, man. I said, and at this point, on that Dylan Scott tour, I'm making 500 bucks a night. Nice, I, I don't yeah. have the last night long oh, money. Oh, yeah, I have baby. No money. Yeah. You're rich. So dude. I give him my business card. I said, order pizza. That's it. Don't order a lot of pizza. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe May two pizza. Maybe two it's pizza. Not, it's, not pizza. Like, it's not like you're in like yeah. Chicago or yeah, yeah. you're like in, in Gillette, Wyoming. There's a pizza hut. And uh, I think it was Gillette. I'm going to double check after when I get on my phone. But uh, Isn't that where we 
Something we've been up there before. I'm gonna look Didn't we antelope story, hunt there? Actually. I think we antelope hunt in Gillette. Yeah, or was it Cheyenne? Well, we've been more than once. But I only yeah. know a few places in Wyoming. It's all the same. dude. How beautiful is it out there? It's dude. dude I, I'm gonna live out there one day. My bachelor trip. We, I'll get into later. We went to Montana for my bachelor trip and hunted, and it was sick. So this is where oh Buffalo, Wyoming. Okay. okay. So you can see I did like a bunch of whatever, yeah, but yeah. you can drop them pants to you, boy. Later. Yeah, I'll yeah. send them to y'all. I don't Just care. Hit, hit us up on honest. And uh, <laughs> so we hunt the whole first day. We get back there that afternoon before it starts to see if we can just hear one roost because i know they're there but or what i found about on the 10 all, acres or are they on the four nine i know they're somewhere yeah and what i found out about out west is they move a lot and early season they're all together yep. and they're not gobbling as much when they're all together on those early season out west like in georgia if they're all together they're on your property somewhere yeah mm -hmm. but anyway so we get to their house and they're actually help. They're calling all their neighbors. They're phone booking it. They're That's, they're awesome. They're they they, they, want you, yeah. they saw you and Screech yeah. looking at each other. And, like, uh, yeah, they yeah. saw it. Yeah, they so sold you. They out. sold you five hundred. Yeah, but you they wanted the box, they wanted to drink can. coffee with you so much that yeah. they dropped the bomb on you there. Then they felt bad. They got their We're tickets. gonna get you some. They're helping us they out. And yeah. so gave like, you a box of twelve donuts. You open it. There's one. Yeah. Yeah. And now feel bad about it. So they got three more coming. And you go up this like hill. Uh, their dirt road like is right here. Their house is down here, and then you go up this dirt road, and there's a plateau up there. Oh yeah, baby. And um, and that so, sounds like Turkeyville to my yeah, ears. Yeah, it's kind of, but there's like houses up there a little uh, bit. Oh, never mind. And so like <laughs> the last place we're thinking. So we're talking to the husband, and the wife's like, "I think there might be some turkeys up there," and we're like, "No, no shot." And we're so we're still calling. It's a good people. wife voice. And then like ten minutes yeah. later, she's like. There might be some turkeys up there. We're like, no shot. And she's like, I tell you what, I'm going to ride up there because I think that I've seen turkeys up there before. Wait, did her voice change? Okay, no. She's like, I think we're going to ride up there because we see turkeys up there. There we go. Time. Now we're back. Okay. And uh, so me and Screech are like, whatever. We'll hop in our truck and ride with her. Ride up this freaking hill, dude. And the one tree on the dirt road no has like what? 15 turkeys flying up in it. Gobblers, hens, jakes. And we're like <laughs> freaking out because like, Honest to God, if Main Street were by herself, there was still some on the ground, we would have pulled over and like got legally in. I mean, it yeah, was their legally. property. Absolutely. You would have sat down we were, and called them into you. Well, no, we yeah, wouldn't exactly. have called them in, but we well, were as enough. desperate as we were at that point. To We only had two days to hunt, to drive all the way out there. No doubt. We were throwing a fan out there and yeah, killing yeah. something. Yeah. But um, we were like, let's just do it the right way. So we put a pin on the tree. And dude, the worst, y'all probably know this feeling, the worst but best feeling is knowing where the turkeys are. But knowing that there's a 50-50 chance they're going to fly to you or fly not away from you. Off the hill into somebody, and yeah. all night, dude, I couldn't sleep because I'm like, I got one day, this, and I, I want to kill this, like, we're going to kill these turkeys. But, like, they could fly, basically the way they're on this plateau, they could fly across the dirt road into where we had. Because mm -hmm. we didn't have the tree they were on was not us. They could either fly across the dirt road or they could soar down into this creek with later. trees. See you later. Never see them again. Yeah. And, uh. So we make this game plan. We get out there like an hour before, and we're probably, I don't know, 80 yards from them, and we just start calling, and they're going nuts. They're fighting. They fly down, but they don't want to cross the side of the road. So me and Screech, climb, like, we literally crawl. And out there, there's not really a lot of traffic. Yeah. yeah. So we crawl close At to all. this dirt road. There's a barbed wire fence their side on, dirt road, barbed wire fence. Five yards behind that barbed wire fence, there's us, me and Screech. Okay. So we were, what are y'all tucked into? Where y'all sitting? No, well, we were behind a burn pile. That was <laughs> Sorry, perfect. every time you say screech. Sorry. That's his real name. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. No. All right, you tucked into a burn pile. So we're behind a burn pile that hadn't been burnt yet. And that's like 100 yards away. And I'm like, screech, we got to get up on these, I think, or they're going to, they're probably 10 minutes from this. Dip. See you later. So are they we on get the behind ground this at this tree. point? Huh? Are they on the ground at this point? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay. they're on the ground on their side of the fence. Yeah. And it's a little lower, like it's like this. So we can't really see. Yeah, I love your descriptions. Did bro. They have, I, like, I, I could get in there. Some of those Wyoming fences have like five strands, yeah. super tight. Yeah, like, he, this was like a three tight. strand, luckily. bull tight. And it, and so they they're on their side. They're only like probably thirty yards away. But we can't shoot them because it backside of the burn. Shoot them. Well, we're shooting across the road at this point. If and, we shoot them, yeah. And um, we we ditch the burn pot at this point. We're okay. like, you know, giant tree right here. Five yards fence, 10 yards road, five yards of them. Oof. And so we just got to get them to come across the road. They're right there. And so I start just hammering on this call. Like, they're all being loud. And I start decoys, hammering. no decoys. No decoys. Okay. We're just behind the tree. And uh, one Jake crosses the road, and he's to our awesome. left. A Tom starts to cross the road. And I didn't see that three other Toms cr were crossing the road, too. And Screech is like, yo, I'm about to shoot. And I was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't see anything yet. Like... He's like, they're on our side of the fence. And I was like, 
I don't see anything. Like I'm looking and he's like, Dylan, there's four toms right here. I'm about to shoot. And I like wrap all around the tree, dude. And there's like four toms right there. Full how, strap, how far? Five yards. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And I was like, <laughs> It'd be a perfect sorry, time for the, that out. No, no, that's a perfect time for the turkey okay. call right yeah. there. Yeah. And, uh, and I was like, he was like, I, I can't count like I'm too close. And I was like, you just shoot and I'll, and I'll shoot. Yeah. And cause it was, I had a four at the one of the four tens with the tight chokes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So he shot dude and two of them took off and one of them just bowed back up and I shot that one. Right Y'all there. doubled right there. Five. Oh yeah. my gosh. I, that I is awesome. The, I have to find the picture, but that's the coolest, a great story. Dude. dude, it was so sick. And the coolest thing was those people were so happy for us. And, oh yeah. I'm sure. And, uh, we took a picture of it, like posted up on the short bus. Yeah. And it was sick. I saw you. I saw the bus. The, yeah. The, the, I just thought that was like an outfitter thing or something. No. Nah, dude. That was, that was that D Marlo outfitter out there. Dude. dude. Put some respect on his name. Yeah, dude. Respect dude. it. Respect I'm it. So, this is, yeah. I love hearing about uh working for turkeys. Dude, like grinding, not because even working, you, grinding. And look, it pays off. Like now you're this oh, big dude. act with songs on the radio, and there's gonna be people offering you all kinds of Oh, hunts. it's been crazy already. I know, yeah. it gets nuts. But look, you you got to stay true to those roots a little bit in the home oh, yeah. because that stuff's fun, but bro, there ain't nothing feels like that. No, there's not. Man. Like I was saying, we're, we're doing, we're going to be on my bachelor trip. We went turkey hunting and there was 10 guys. We went to a place in Montana. I won't say the city cause it's like my honey hole. Yeah. But don't blow it up. I'll tell y'all after the podcast, That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but um, I called and got like 20,000 acres of permission. It was beautiful. Like I got so much cause they just own so much land out there. You in got on it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you. His, his daughter <laughs> shot like a stud. Mm. They have elk out there, mm. and uh, but they don't care about the turkeys. Most oh, of them don't care about there. the mule deer and elk. Yeah, most of them we, don't. Most of them don't kill, like care about turkey. Like, a lot yeah. of places we went, they're like, wait, wait, get, wait. You drove how many hours to, to come what? up a bird? Yeah. They're like, dude, shoot as many as you want. We're like, well, we can only shoot two legally, yeah. but they they want them gone. Yeah, they yeah. do. <laughs> so talk about the bus, man. Talk about the short bus, dude. It was sick. We're finally in like a big bus now. Um, halfway through the Hardy tour, we hopped over to a big one, and I've got more sleep on the road. My voice sure hasn't have. gone out. It's been such a big blessing. Did you find a school bus and and redo yeah. it? Was it like your idea, your project, or like well, the band's project? So Screech, my tour manager, we're both from Statesboro. Okay, and his uh, stepdad worked on Statesboro, the Georgia. Wait, who yeah. else is? From, there's a songwriter. So who else is from Statesboro? Somebody else is from Statesboro. Uh, we know there's well, a bunch of them from. Well, Cole there. and Luke went to college there. Okay, maybe that's that's um, where Georgia Southern is. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Tyler Chambers went to college there. Where's Drew from? Is Drew from? Parker? Yeah. He's from somewhere else in Georgia. Okay. Okay. Sorry. But uh, Screech's stepdad Rodney uh, works on the military. He's a firefighter, and on the military base they have a lot where they sell stuff if they're getting deployed or if they're going to another place that they just don't want to take. Okay. And this dude had this bus that he had bought from the military base. It took kids to school on the base for a few years. It never got above thirty miles an hour. Had twenty six thousand miles on. Oh man! It was a two thousand and seven, like the last year they made the bet, like the six six Duramax, like okay, you know, like the the one. Like yeah. people would offer me twenty grand to buy just that engine with that low miles. Dang, you still got it? Yeah, and uh, trying to sell it. Well, my dad actually just came up and got it because my li- my little brother he wants to do a food truck, and so he's gonna they're gonna re- can redo it. But um, That's awesome. which is kind of yeah. sad. But it's cool that two kids are getting <laughs> to chase their dreams. What's that about? Well, because like. Like oh, because you letting it go. Well, I just like I want to have it like one day, just the short bus, just like sitting in a barn. <laughs> yeah, and you're like well, but let me we'll tell you some still, stories we'll about this. We'll still have it. But, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So he found it, and my we you'll be my, able to cook tacos out of it, yeah, or whatever, was, <laughs> or eat tacos that your brother and, cooks. Uh, yeah. My dad helped me out huge. He helped me like buy it, and uh, we went in because, dude, at that point, I paid. I remember paying. We went out with Langston one weekend in New York, and I paid twelve hundred dollars to rent a twelve passenger van for three days. Yeah, man. <laughs> Can't make no money doing that. And I was like, I'm I'm making five hundred bucks a night on right. this Dylan Scott tour. Barely going, breaking even. Oh, dude, yeah. I went in the whole bunch. Probably yeah. not breaking even. No, yeah, it was worth losing it. money. But um my dad was a drummer in a rock band before he had me. And so they had me young. And so any chance that he's had to help me out, like he's helped a bunch. And, That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy him a house one day for sure. Nice. But uh so he helped me buy it and we went in and just built Originally built five bunks, then we added six bunks because we hired somebody. But it had six bunks in the back, and then we had a wooden wall. It was dark because we had a wooden wall, wooden wall, wooden wall with a walkway and a curtain. Yeah. There were six bunks back there. 
And then up front, you had two futons that could fold out into beds for whoever. And then come on, you made a little tour bus. That's all you need. It was, it was like perfect, a- dude. I didn't, I didn't buy a single hotel other than for the guys. Yeah. Whenever I dropped them off on a dirt you road, you owed them home. that, dude. I owed them the hotel. You did. You owed but them dude, that. what like what an adventure, man! Dude, for like you for and your me boys, and Screech, dude. We <laughs> had a blast. Like just y'all too. The rest of them didn't. Everybody else hated it. <laughs> Everybody else but was we like, had when a are we jam leaving? of time. Yeah, yeah. They're like, when are we leaving? And we're like, oh, um, when we kill a turkey, <laughs> or uh, Thursday because we have a show Thursday in California. Um, but yeah, we did that, dude. And how long were you in that bus? Um, twenty one to halfway through this Hardy tour back in November. And so you're saying, band, that the guys you're riding that bus now, y'all all graduated to the to yeah. the bigger bus. Yeah. Well, a few of the guys actually, my guitar player that started with me now, he's actually we're still like tight friends. Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't yeah. weird, but he plays for Meg Maroney now. So oh, cool. cool. He's out with them, but the other guys are still with me, and we've hired like a you know a front of house guy, uh, a bass player, and um, a few other guys have added. But it's a really good vibe we got. But um. Everybody was like wondering how we got on this bus so cheap, and I went on Facebook and I just started messaging people that were selling buses because a bus lease is month to month; it's like sure. too expensive. And um, I found this dude in Oklahoma, and I message, I copy and pasted this message to like people for three hours, and I was like, "If you're selling, uh, they were selling buses," and I was like, "Would you be down to rent this bus out until you sell it?" And everybody said no, and this last guy was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll I have a starter bus, not this one. I'll give it to you for this like insane rate." And he just charges us by the day we use it. That's mm-hmm. awesome. And you keep it in town. Yeah, yeah, our driver lives in town. That's awesome. And, uh, it's so sick, dude. But, I was um I was me and Joe were riding the other day, and I was just our co rider walked out, and I was asking him how he's been and everything. And I was like I was like how's Dylan? He's like man he's great, and and started talking about your thing, and and we started he started telling me you know how some things that some decisions you were making for yeah. your benefit and your band's benefit. And, uh-huh. and it honestly reminded me of, of Combs situation where like grassroots starting with the same guys that you yeah. started with at the beginning for and, sure. and, and making decisions that, yeah, it's better for you, but it's also better for them. Mm-hmm. And it feels like, like, dude, if you go into the Combs camp and we're talking about like songwriters all the way to tour management and, and the guys mm-hmm. putting the stage together, it's such a, close knit group of guys yeah. that you can trust everybody you know everybody you know everybody's backstory and For it feels sure. like those camps are the ones that make it you know yeah. what i'm saying like last like longevity comes For sure. along with that and the way joe was explaining it and kind of how i was i was it feels like you're you're kind of doing that yeah that same trying thing. to for sure i think uh i mean my dad was always he owns his own company so he's always taught me like if you take care of your dudes like, yeah. they'll take care of you so Try million percent to, try to take care of them and um and just ha- i want to have a good vibe out there dude like you got to man. we're so lucky to get to do this and i don't want to be on the road like stressing or arguing or doing all this like it, it's such a blessing to get to do that so i, I mean dude you look you know. at you look at some i mean you can compare it to to professional ball teams like look at the yeah. chiefs man and and even like this playoff season dude, they you got a thing bro bro you the they locker room man locker sure. room is just as important as on the field yeah and you look at an eagles team that is probably more talented than anybody in the league but one of them goes down in the locker room one of them yeah. starts causing a fuss breaks yeah. the whole thing up they lose the first round of the playoffs chiefs locker rooms tighter than anything and yeah. they go through and win championships man it's it does just, dude it's it's important to have that that yeah. team and family around you yeah. and, and everybody, you know, trust everybody. A thousand percent. Yeah. It's so you're fun. out last night lonely. Yeah. And you're like, man, this is my jam. And yeah. somebody pitches it. <laughs> and then you're like, ooh, I'm I'm forced to make this decision, which you, you made a good point earlier when we were talking about it. There were two other riders on the thing. Yeah. So you kind of have to – Kind of goes like back to what we were just talking them, about. Yeah. Allow them to, you know, at for least sure. have some input on what you wanted to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, just – the fact that they're on it, it's like I gotta respect their that could change their lives too. So Was it a little salty when it happened where you like, man? Not really. Really? Like I prayed about it. I, I've been <coughs> I've been trying to get better about just like any big decision like that, just praying about it. Come on, man. And I think God was like, Hey, give it up. And I was mm. like, All right. So uh yeah, it was a huge blessing. Bought my house, paid for my wedding and rock a little wedding, bit of wedding rock. ring. Wedding ring, yeah. 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 So man, that wedding ring stuff is was a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was, what was it? Uh C. Yeah, A minor G C. Yeah. Can we sing it? No, you got the first okay. one. Yeah. Right. I'll just sing harmony. Um 
Yeah, this could be your last drink from a stranger in a bar. The last time that you're dancing in unfamiliar arms. Yeah, this could be your last first kiss if we do this thing right. Your last time alone beneath neon lights. It could be your last night coming in here drinking all by yourself. The last time giving your heart away to someone else. We could be some history in the making, girl. Tonight might be your last night only. Jam, dude. That's good. Yeah, that's a jam. Yeah, it's that, that's a jam. It was do, you, do, you end your, do you end your shows with that? No, no, no. We end it uh, with Boys Back Home now. Okay. Um, we play that somewhere in the middle, and it's just good for me being on radio tour because you know, like, you get to kind of shout out the radio guys. For yeah, man. Playing Absolutely. It. It's a good talking point. And mm -hmm. um, on the Hardy tour, he brought me up during his set to play that. And so, it was oh, that's cool. Sick, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Sing so, it with you. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, let's talk about. Let's talk. We and this is going back to the very first thing that we we talked about on this podcast. Oh is, wait, is, is a real one. Show me how to do the uh, the lick on. Uh, it's not he did it too. What is it? Oh, you did it too. You did it too. Oh yeah. Is it G? Just tell me the chords. Oh, uh, I, well, I, I think that. it's E. And then it's like you move the finger up. Yeah, and then the C. Or no, sorry, the C. Uh, the one down here. <laughs> the one down here. I yeah. love it. Is it there? You know how you do like the B? And that's like, that's that one down when you slide it down. C sharp minor. C sharp minor. Yeah, yeah. There? No, no, no. no. C sharp minor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just like a... Uh, uh. Oh, oh. E minor. Gotcha. All right, I got it. That's the chorus, at least, is down there. Say, what are the, vor the, the verses are close, though, right? Yeah, the verse is just that. Get your mic, get your mic, bro. Up one, and then it goes to A. And then back to E. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you going to try to play that? Are we going to do this, or are we just going to talk about it? I just want him to do the... Uh... Sorry. I just want him to do the verse, the second verse. Okay. I what? love the second verse. Yeah. It's just the E to the up one to A <laughs> to the up to one. E. I don't know chords. No, I love it, bro. No, no. You don't have to. Okay, so it's like uh, the second verse you said. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, um, did you spend a hard week's forty on a cold twenty-four? Have a hometown girl in a Chevrolet door. Take her home, kiss her right there on the porch. Drove off in a glass pack four by four. You might understand. You climbed up in a pine tree stand, looking down on some last name land with a hammer down gun in your hand. Dude, yeah. come on. Get it, get See course, this? go course, go course. Right there? Go I'm course. Sure it goes. It's same, probably the same uh, thing. You get it, if you did it, if you grew up right. That might be a key higher than it. But you did it, so I gave you. That's hot there. Come on. Yeah. She's a little lower, but. <laughs> dude, I love that, man. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah I wrote that because that dude pissed me off, bro. No names. No names. Yeah. But somebody did write a review of Boys Back Home. Yeah. And you know, is that where it came from? I really don't know yeah, the story. So we I just put knew. Boys Back Home out, and this dude was like, Boys Back Home is corny and cliche, which it it, it does have like, you know, circled up around a farm okay. fire and drinking okay. beer. But that's well, what which I did. Did people which, not? I mean, when I grew up, dude, I did. My buddy's dad left a corner of the back, the back corner, back right corner of his cotton field not planted. So that the rest of it will grow this tall, and we could park our trucks back there, and that's nobody sick. would see us from the road. Yeah, man. Sick. And that's where we partied at, and we yeah. circle up, and he put tailgates down and drink every single weekend. Just that's like a lot of other yeah. kids that grew up in the South. Everybody that's why that. that's why country songs are country songs yeah, because dude. they're just written about the way we, we lived, and yeah. we all did that. Well, listen, we could all get very mega fired up right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I so let's bring it. I can feel it. I mean, I can feel okay. it happening. My redneck Sorry. blood is Sorry. boiling. Just think but anyway, about it. So but, he, but, but, but you lived it. I mean, yeah, like, that's what I did, dude. We all, and that's why people connect with it. Yeah. And the people that don't can't understand they it because they didn't dude. do it. Yeah. And uh, this dude's out in like Boulder, Colorado. I'm like, bro, you didn't do it out. You didn't. Do no, it out you there. definitely didn't do it out. And there. Uh, 
So yeah, you're just like this song's corny, it's cliche, and like I don't ever let the like that get to me. Sure, but Can't. for some reason, oh, I when do. I clicked on the dude's thing and saw his like pictures and where he lived and what he did, not judging him, but just like <laughs> you can't like you don't get it. You yeah, know man. what I mean? Like that dude. Yeah, I know. That dude's mean. not gonna get it, and uh, and that's what fired me up. And I got in the next day and wrote that with Joe and Dallas, and Joe and Dallas were like, calm down, it's all good, because I was like, no, I want to say, you know, I want. <laughs> You know, and they were like, and Luke was like, well, when we wrote What Makes You Country for Luke Bryan, it was yeah. kind of the same thing. We just wrote it, whatever. And I was like, well, I want it to be more dramatic than that. But, All right, so uh, give me the second the second stanza of that second yeah. verse about climbing up in the deer stand. Yeah. Just tell me those words. Because uh, I looked at It's like, up. you might understand uh, if you climbed up in a pine tree, tree stand, stand right. looking down on some last, last name land. land. Dude, line. that got me, dude. Thanks, bro. With, last with a hand down gun in your hand. Dude, come on. Dude, last name land got me, though. Because it's like, that dude probably don't even understand what that means. No, and when he wrote the review on that song. Oh, did he smash you? Oh, yeah. He was like, <laughs> oh, you did it too? Yes. He goes, <laughs> of course uh, he did. He's like, and somebody commented like, dude, you can't review your own diss track. <laughs> and the dude was like, Oh, he says things like picking girls up in a truck and doing this. This is a uh, geographically thing. I'm like, yeah, but you did you miss the part where I said glass pack? You don't even know what a glass pack is. I know exactly what yeah. that is. I know exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. You put that on Square Body Salvarado yeah. and you got the best sounded truck that was ever existed. He like picked the two lines like picking the girl up in a truck. And he was like, the whole song's about picking a girl up in a truck. I'm like, no, it's obviously not. Whatever. But yeah, so when he wrote that about the boys stuff, I got to, with Joe and wrote that. And the the cover art had his Boys Back Home review in the background. Beautiful. The killer, man. Beautiful. I just, and everybody, it, it's been out for three weeks and we're on this head headline tour and everybody screams it every night really and they yeah it's, yeah because it's, it's more than just a song now it's a it's a it's a it's a, sure. it's a, it's a statement yeah i mean it's a it's a way of this is how we grew up yeah and that's what man i i respect you for that because Thank even you, some bro. even some of the songs that we've written together like you come in with something on your mind like mm -hmm. and, and 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 yet like like when you listen to your things and that's what i've always loved about and you can ask Jordan. We, I'm, a, I'm a Dylan Marlowe fan, man, and, ha and have Thanks, been from bro. the get go. Yeah. And, Thanks, and I love the songs you've written without me. I love the songs we've written. And there's there you have that hit thing that you do, but you do it with a with a unique melody or a unique Thanks, unique thing that you do. And and so the hit things there, but you always have something that you want to say, and yeah, and, and that, sure. that that means yeah. more than just hey man, let's just write a song for radio right now. Like, I want this yeah. to, to mean something. I, this comes from a place that, you know, I'm feeling inside. Yeah, for sure. I think that's the, I don't know, bro. It's like, for me, writing my own songs is cool because I can be authentic and I can, like, come from something I've been through or, or like, hope to go through or am yeah. going through. So, not to be all weird on it, but, yeah, I, I try to pull from, <laughs> no. try to pull from that, you know. Well, so. that well that you're, you've, you've, Doug is is based on your dollar trips out west and your and, and, no doubt, and all the hard times that you went through. We we talk about that. I don't have to re hard yeah, it yeah. because we talk about it all the time. But like that is to me the the richest uh, dirt, if you will, to plant yeah. your songs in Thanks, it, is is when it's uh you know when, when it's, it's cured, real, dude. Yeah, when it's real, it's sure. From do y'all remember the first song we wrote together? Jam. Dude, we need to. Song is a jam, dude. I need to revisit that. Song is a jam. I'm not trying to pitch my own stuff on no, this. No, well, I think. Song is a jam. As a song Remember writer, every song we've written together? Oh, they're all jams, by the way. <laughs> yeah. What was the other one that we wrote? Uh, no, we wait. Let's get back few. to the one I'm on. What were we talking uh, about? <laughs> well, didn't we write Mama, I Messed Up? Yeah. That's a messed smash. Messed up. Stick to your guns. Oh, that um, one's coming out, by the way. I didn't write on that one. Yeah, that one's on the record. Like, I'll sing you. Have I sent you the cover? <laughs> uh -uh. It's, it's, Send it to like, me. It's Shell and Benji, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, um, and Joe and uh, Abram. Yeah. Um, then we wrote um, Late Early, it's a cool song. That one's a smash, still. Yeah, what song. was the one yeah. we wrote? It, I remember it being called, it was like Follow Ever Am's Good Old Boy, yeah, but it's like got like choir harmonies, like y'all sound insane on it. I think, <laughs> I think it's a very real thing for me, and I don't know about y'all to look past songs sometimes when you don't have a demo of it. Okay. Oh, y'all yeah. do the same thing, yeah, 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 for yeah. Sure. Like it's almost I, like a skull mounted deer versus a shoulder mounted deer, yeah, 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 it's yeah like, good call. Hard because and it's hard to show like people on the team. Got grace for like, that one, you know. But I, I I think we should revisit that. Well, we can I, demo it up today. I think <laughs> we, we need to. I honestly, think we should. Yeah, let's do it. Because I get, think that song would fit sick, like in the Duro when I die category. Like we're cut. I mean, we're cutting record. I think I think that song. I was I literally heard it again 
Two me, days ago. Let me get Ollie on the phone real quick. Dude, yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> book a session. We'll cut, we'll cut. I've sent it to you a couple times. Just be like, hey, man, don't. Because I, I know, bro. We know other yeah. artists that are in the same brain. Dude, Our dude, brain, we're constantly we going. If you're in we don't have town, time to do anything. If yes. you're in yeah. this town, you're writing songs, or you're trying to cut songs. There's a million that just boom, 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 boom. And it's, uh, it's on all of us to keep yeah. those good ones in the forefront. For sure. Know? So new music, 24. Yeah, dude. So we're releasing a song next month. And uh, it's called Bat. It's called bat out of hell with a boat on the back okay and uh hope maybe it'll be out when this comes out but i, I had it. uh march 15th yep. so um the coolest thing about this i was taking that to the airport uh and i said if i gotta take you to the airport at 5 a.m i'm bringing my boat so yeah. the night before i hook my boat up and i'm um, like i'm gonna go fishing I'm gonna be drop you off early. at the airport. Go, go to old Percy Percy. yeah Percy Percy. Okay. be up there so uh, i'm on the way we're late we're running late as hell and I'm going like 90. And Nat is like, you are driving like a bat out of hell. And I was like, hell yeah, bat out of hell, hell with, with a boat, boat on the back, baby. <laughs> and she was like, please, dear God, don't write that. And I was like, I'm already writing it down on my phone like, while I'm driving 90 with a boat on the back. <laughs> and uh, it's sick, though, so I'm going I'm to put that out. But it's fun, like, finding those weird ideas. Yeah, absolutely. That, like, that can only come from life. that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so, yeah, I'm pumped about that. All Y'all, right, Dan and Shay Tour, you got yeah. that coming up? Yeah. When's that start? Uh, That's in July. Then. Okay. Yeah, just announced this morning. You and Jake Owen, and, and yeah, you know, that'll be, be fun, fun man. dude. Shay's such an—I mean, both of them are great. I just—I've hung out with Shay a little more. Yeah, Shay's actually the reason that I got married. Hmm. Okay, which is sick. Yeah, so I've written, oh, how? I've written Shay before. Well, He's great. I was just like struggling a little bit on the side of like, um, my career's getting started. Like, getting married's a crazy thing. Yeah. Like a lot of people that get married, their career's over. That was what I had, this lie I had in my head. No, no, no. I, I, I agree with that. The industry is the... the it's kind of true. The, the industry, industry wants you to think that. Yeah. I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm just kidding. And uh, so I met, sat down with Shay and because uh, he did a podcast with his wife that I heard and it sounded like me. Like when he was 25, which is, I was 25, he was doing this and struggling with this. And so I just shot him a message on Instagram. I was like, I heard your thing. Like it was sick. And he was like, I'd love to take you to coffee next week. So we go to coffee next week. It's supposed to be an hour, and we talked for like four hours. It's awesome. And uh, I went like four days later and bought a ring. That quick? Yeah. Nice. So, shout out to Shay. So. But that's kind of the way you got to do. You got to go about it, man. It's yeah. like if you try, if you wait around, you'll never do it. No. Like you just gotta, you just gotta jump off. And the... now, dude, I, it's crazy to even think that I was like thinking like that. For sure. You know? For sure. But it's such a yeah. The industry's a, a messed up place sometimes. Ugh. So, so gross. Yeah. I'm sure that. I'm sure that was important. That thing you had to say. We're talking about but marriage. It was important. Part of the show for the one that got away. Your mic's real far from your mouth, by the way. Yeah, but it's at the guitar. Okay. <laughs> we do this thing called uh, the one that got away. Um, and oh, that, luckily, that was a smooth. That luckily, was smooth. I appreciate that, Don. That was smooth. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> luckily, our producer. It doesn't have a bridge on it if you want to put it on there and cut it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Luckily, our producer um, filled you in on that yeah, because yeah. we were 10 minutes later than you were here this morning. <laughs> I was um, five minutes late, though. Okay, so. okay, okay. We're all late. Grace. Yeah. Thank Grace. You. Uh, shout out. Um, all right, what is it? What's your one that got away? It, it, it could, could be could a turkey, deer, a deer, a, girl. We not a girl because you're married, but. Yeah. I would say uh, it could be a girl. The one that got away. Could be a song that that didn't you got cut and didn't come out. Or Could be something. as simple as a hamburger that you didn't eat somewhere. You use that every it time. It worked. It worked. It worked with Colby. Well, yeah. So that's over. That's box is checked. She didn't say hamburger. She said a ho- hotel massage or something. I can't remember. What. <laughs> I feel like I got something yeah. good stewing somewhere. Um, it was a gift. It was a twenty thousand dollar gift card. Yeah, that she, that let she didn't use. Uh-uh. So you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it could be anything. Yeah, it's just something that got away from me. Um, I feel like I had something like that happen to me the other day. Okay, this is, I feel like this isn't dramatic enough. Doesn't Dude, have it to be. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't okay, have well, to be. We okay. can make it good. <laughs> well, the one that got away, I ordered this bow sight from Dialed Archery. What was it? Which one? Uh, It's like the one with the big circle, the big loop, you know? Okay. Is it the... uh? Like the new ones, like the yeah. electronic garments. No, no, no. It's not like that. Spot on. No, it's it's called Dialed. Like the, oh, okay. it's a company called Dialed. Cool. I feel like this isn't good enough. I'll it's think, good I'll, enough. I'll think of another one while I talk. About Unless it. you're okay, slamming you the have company. To, you can if have you're two. We'll put the no, company. No, 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 no. I just we'll I put the ordered, best one out. I ordered. <coughs> that, we know you I, wear your feelings on your sleeves. No, Mark, yeah, 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 I do. But, <laughs> and on his and his CD covers. Sorry. Yeah. In November, it was like it's got a four or five month delay. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and order it. I know I'll want it for the next season. It's a sick site. Yeah. And um, 
I order it and I order it in this tan because I have the bo- Mossack Bottomland mm-hmm. Matthews lift. Mm-hmm. Dope. Brand so, new just came out. Nasty. Yeah. So it's like five months and uh, a few days ago, they come out. They they post this thing on Instagram. They're like, we're doing a, Mo- a Mossack Bottomland. <laughs> no. <for the side." laughs> and I was like, no worries. It's, I'm still on like this huge weight. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'll just message him and say, hey, can I swap it? And he goes, oh, man, your site actually shipped out today. And I was like, no. That's a good <laughs> one that got away. That's a good I one. Know. So are you going to send it back? Or are you just Maybe. Gonna... I'm going to put the tan on and see how it looks. I mean, it probably good. Yeah. Yeah, it probably, probably, good. Like probably, not, probably won't look as good as that. That's not Oakland. that, like, dramatic. No, but for, I, for, for me though, I love that one. It's very real to you. It's a real yeah, thing. I like no, it. it's yeah, a, yeah. it's real yeah. to me too. No, that's great. I think I people like enjoy it. it. All right. Uh, the other thing we got to do is we call it your favorite, meaning like greatest slash favorite country song of all time. Making a playlist at the end of the year with everybody that comes on their songs. Yeah. So it's to you, right? It's not like what's the greatest country song. Ever. No, yeah, it's a to blend me, of the favorite of what when you think back on like where you do you like from. that word graver is that that's interesting you think that's pretty interesting, that's interesting. Like, okay who like, out of the two of us do you right, think we'll... made that up i don't know probably i'll I say I, you made that I, up. I think i think it was grace i think it was grace that made it, was it me up. and grace we co-wrote it <laughs> co-wrote that word <laughs> yeah uh favorite graver it dude graver it song oh that's so hard i'm dude. gonna take it as a challenge to see if i can play it i don't even know you what probably is, can't yeah. um Uh, Let me put you in a spot where you'll think. No, 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 it. you're good. I need like 30 seconds and I'll, I'll have my answer. I we need, got time. I need to learn. We got time. Uh, a uh, favorite song, dude. That's so hard. Um, okay, I'll say this because this is what got me into like, holy crap, I need to write songs. There but you go. Perfect. Where Perfect. she told me to go by her church oh, is insane. Yeah. yeah. The picture yeah. that. And like Kenny Chesney, what I need to do. Mm. Some of the so old. You're, you're in some dude, on the now they're on this bus. Early 2000s. We just jam. drink you're Mike, you're every Mike. night and play. We go back and any old Aldine or Luke or Kenny or any record under 2005, mm-hmm. we just listen to it and drink beers all night until we go to bed. That's awesome. Well, what's the one that pops out of like out of those songs? Dude, you... The one that pops out of the two songs that I just said, yeah. or do you just mean out of? Not of all of them. Out of all of them, like those those first, like the wide open Aldine record mm. with like This I Gotta See mm-hmm. and Love Re- Was Easy. Is Relentless on that? Yeah, Relentless, I think. Whatever those first two or three records are. Yeah. Like Aldine was just on. Oh, he was, yeah, it was great. Crack. Yeah. Like, insane. Yeah. Maybe the same chord. Ew. Oh. <laughs> I don't that? even know if anybody's weak. Can't seem to make any sense of anything I need Wandering around in circles yeah. in a day And just when I start awakening I find something intoxicating Until I ain't go to I'm glad you know Lost inside of me Hey, James, James LeBlanc. James LeBlanc, man. That's a killer. What a song, dude. Hey, man, I, I, you know, they do those music things, those, like, watch out for artists in 2024 thing. We're going to yeah. do a God's Country podcast, artists to look out Let's for go. in 2024, okay, I like man. That. Let's go. Dylan like Marlowe. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming appreciate out. Appreciate you coming yeah, by, yeah, man. Thank you for having me. He's with coming. Us. Sorry, I'm hey, talking coming. a lot. I could probably talk for no, a No, no, that's, what, this, this, what, that's what this podcast is about. Yeah. Um, man, awesome. check him out, dude. You probably already know him and, and know his songs and, and everything he's got going on, but... uh. Dylan Marlowe, appreciate you hanging out, man. Yeah. Um, We're out of here. Thanks for hanging out in God's country. We'll see you uh, next time. Jay. This is Deluxe Dylan. Look, man, this is not a (laughs) ghost story show, but it keeps coming around. 
People like the ghost stories. Maybe we do a thing with it. Maybe yeah, maybe yeah, we yeah, do a thing. Yeah, with favorite it. country song. Dylan has a good one. He's kind of got to go. We got done with the podcast and stood we up. We were literally dapping like totally. And we're talking about Hardy's episode and the ghost stories. Talk about how more people want to ghost stories. And Dylan's like, "Oh, dude, I got one." Will you send? Can you send Jordan? Yeah, yeah I'll that send you the video. Video so we can yeah. so we can oh, post shoot. it. Yeah, when you, go. yeah. All right, just explain what happened. Yeah, there's this house at uh, back in Sagebrush, like kind of near Metter. <laughs> This is really haunted, and there's like a bunch of weird stories. Like nobody lives there, but the lights will turn on and off if you're driving by it. And we we're kind of intact. Like we we're just driving on the dirt road, trying to see if we saw something. Wait a second. What made you break your phone out? I don't know. Like I, well, I think I was just like videoing the fact that we were there. Because what what I'm trying to do is debunk yeah. everything, right? Well, yeah, I, I'll I'll your you, video in in case. I mean, you're, you're driving down, down a road though. You're not like I'm gonna whip my phone. Well, no, he, he but, the, but the reason you're driving down well, that dirt road is for that house, right? Somewhat, yeah. Oh. Also, I I think I was like just out of high school, maybe going into college, and I just broke up with this girl, and so I wanted her to see I was having a good time. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't okay. see that, so I posted that to my story on Snapchat. Not knowing it was it. the guy that there's a black. Hang on, hang no, on, don't, 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 don't give it away. So I didn't see anything in this video. <clears throat> I just posted it, and the next day, Riley, who was my guitar player, he plays with Meg now. Yeah. Well, he was in the car with me, and there was like two other girls. I don't even remember who. We were just having a good. We were drinking beer. We weren't driving. The girls were driving, but we were drinking beer on this dirt road. Sure. I was fresh out of breakup. I was like, I'm. I'm having, I'm having a good, a good time. time. You see yeah. this? And I'm, uh, I'm not depressed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I just posted this video. And the next day, Riley's like, dude, can you save that video and slow it down? And I was like, yeah, why? And he's like, it looks like something runs across that front porch. And I was like, no way. And I save it and I slow it down. And I'm like, holy crap. There's definitely something. And we went to like, yeah, maybe there was like <laughs> some speck on the headlights. And when the car hits no, the bumps, the thing no. goes up. But it stayed on the front porch. But it stayed on the porch no. and it's behind the railing. That ain't no speck. And it moves like so fast. And that ain't no dude unless that's like no, Emmett Smith in his prime or something. No. I mean, that was like. <laughs> and then just, it just flies out the screen. And I feel like if it was a speck on the headlight, it would have been there the whole time. Same, just yeah. like doing like this. But. And it's not like the truck turned left or turned no, right. No, you're staying straight. We're staying straight. Let me and say it, it one more time. Okay, yeah. But the cool thing time. is, like, there's video evidence behind this one, too. Like, most of yeah. these are just stories. stories. Yeah, like, no, this, this one is, is, you're driving down a dirt road. You're driving down a dirt road. You're driving down a dirt road. Yeah. Hold oh. on, man. It happens, like, a bunch of times. I know. He goes back and forth, dude. We're gonna we're gonna post this story, I guess. Yeah, so you I'll can, sing you the video, so we yeah. can so you can see it. But I mean, on this white house, and it's a creepy old white house in yeah. Georgia, you see a shadow, like not like walk out like a person would. It looks like a person's figure, but it's like darting across and back and up and across, and it it's never just, leaves it's the porch. Behind man. the staircase, too. That's what that's what gets me. It's okay. very uh, ghosty. Yeah. It's very fast, ghosty, glitchy. Yeah, well, yeah it's a ghost story. There's a glitchy, sign, fast. There's oh, okay. a sign in front of that house, and one of my buddies tried to steal the sign. It says Bass Road. Sick. And as he's going down the road, his tailgate drops, and the sign flew no. out. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> and he left That's the sign right That's a great right part there. of it, too. So All right. We're not, gonna, this didn't happen that night. We're going to okay. post the ghost. Yeah. Post the ghost. Yeah. We, yeah. Ghost story. More ghost, ghost stories, stories, I guess. Ghost coming. Malone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>